I'm trying to put money in your pocket. That crypto wallet. That bing bada bing ching ching big profit. What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? I want to take you through what's going on with the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem as quickly as I possibly can today to try to get you updated and informed about what's going on. I try to keep this very simple. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. So um, let's break this down. First of all, no information, nothing new about the Montenegro halting extradition of Duquan. Uh, we don't have any kind of, any update right now is minute and doesn't really bear any repeating at this point. So uh, I think we're, you know, we're waiting to see what the next um, shoe to drop is. Uh, we got a few stories. If you want to go check out Coinpedia or Crypto News, basically just telling you, you know, uh, it's giving you this random pie in the sky sort of stuff about what might happen or why there might be some kind of random tokens. And some of it's not even true, but it's content. And that's what we're trying to do. And that's what they try to do. Just create content to make sure that you guys have information. So if you want to go check those articles out, certainly go check them out. Over on uh, Commonwealth, there is an idea for a meme coin, uh, Lunk plus H history equals lunch, uh, which sounds funny, but there's already one. It's called Lenny Lunk. Uh, by the way, I was paid for a promo, just so you guys know, for Lenny Lunk, and I did the promo, and you know my obligation at that point is done. I'm talking to you about it because it's the first meme coin. And it's continuing to surge right now. If you look at, uh, if you go look at it on TerraPort.finance and you look at Lenny Lunk, you could see that it's continuing to have that kind of upward momentum. You know, very soon uh, you could see that Lenny Lunk just absolutely takes off because it is the first meme coin in this space. So go check it out. It's important that we interact with uh, the projects that are on our ecosystem. Also, uh, we have Terra, TerraSwap is broken, which we covered yesterday. Uh, and then we have the upgrade to 2.4.1. Now, this was 2.4.0 before it was updated, uh, which is the PFM. That's what was removed from this release, and it's retagged 2.4.1. Uh, so we'll, we'll be voting on that one. Uh, and when you look at the price over here, you see there's the downward pressure that happened just in the last little while. Uh, however, we did have a nice little spike last night uh, through the early parts of the evening up to around three zeros, uh, 22 or four zeros, three, three zeros, 22 six. So uh, a, a nice little revival, if you will, for a short period of time uh, that that looks like a continuation sort of move. We're bouncing off of the 50. You do want to see strength at the 20 when you're you're having these bounces. but you know, you take what you get, right? Uh, so we got a little bounce happening right here. Looks like if this doesn't get fulfilled and we break down, then we're looking at about 19. That's at the 100 MA and that'll be the best play out um, if we do continue down. So if we do that, then what you're going to hope for is a move back up to the 20 immediately, which right now is at 2350. And then from there, uh, a breakout towards that upside, at least retesting some of these ranges up here on the top. Now, the issue with the top is we're now minting lower tops. Guys, right now, this moment, this is the time to increase your crypto portfolio. You're probably not going to want to cash out for at least another year. You're probably not going to want to cash out at least for nine months. The top of this market is not coming for another year and a half, 18 months, maybe even two years. In that period of time, what you want to do is have as much of your crypto as you possibly can. And that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in. That's where you stake in order to earn more yield. Take these fixed rates over here, grab your favorite crypto. I'm going to go in on a little bit of shib. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to convert this over to Bitcoin. I'm going to use 0.2 Bitcoin. And I'm going to do this for 12 months. I'm going to earn 100% more SHIB than I currently have. That's all it took for me to make this happen. Now, the big money, the big money is not from the fixed. The way that you get more is right here. It's all of these launches. This launch pool right here, this is the place to make a lot of money. So go check out cryptonomy.finance today. Tell them Believe sent you. So you can see that that's kind of happening right there. Now, the good news to this is take that crazy wick out of the, the realm of it and kind of look at, you know, what was really happening before that. And, you know, you kind of see that we're, we're making our way into this sort of pennant formation. Uh, so there's not a breakout. There's not, there's not a lot of breakout to this, uh, but it is or does look like, you know, kind of a, a flag forming. And if that's the case, then we should get some sort of breakout. Now, when we look at this uh, over the course of, of some hours, 
you know, we get a sense that maybe we break to three. I want to say, because we're just going to go, uh, you know, this is a little, this is not, that doesn't make a lot of sense here. So, you know, if we're looking at the range, then, you know, it, that doesn't make much sense. If we look at uh, maybe, uh, you know, this move here, uh, and then we got, a, we got, um, what do you say? Uh, we got sidetracked with Bitcoin for a few days, uh, which is what that sort of represents right there as Bitcoin was surging to 69. Uh, so this was probably meant to be a little bit higher, I would say. And then that means that we're probably looking at about 32 as our next step along the way. So if that's the case, there'll be a nice little breakout, maybe another 50% added to the value right here. We're already over a billion market cap, which I'm going to show you in just a second. USTC, USTC did the same thing, but the level is much lower. Interest is starting to wane in USTC. And I think people are realizing what I've been saying is, you know, there's only so much that you got. There's only so much there. Um, it, you, you can't do a whole lot with USTC until you get the repeg. And then the repeg allows it to increase and increase and increase in value. Uh, governance proposals, we don't have anything up yet, but I expect to see um, 12 one or 12088 you know something like that uh that we'll see in the next couple of days to, uh tw probably 12087 uh will probably become 12088 and we'll see that updated to do the 2.4.1 upgrade um as far as volume goes uh we're 799 million uh significant amount of volume but we're down 10 percent in market cap that's attributed probably to the bitcoin sell-off and we haven't seen altcoin season really kick in uh same thing over here uh down just about the same up just about the same a lot of interest just not a lot of movement yet but i think that we're going to see that coming in the short term and yesterday we burned 250 million luna classic overall if you're following uh the the amount of burns that we have so and that's not insignificant i mean you know we need a lot more than that but it, you, you, know, you take what you can get so that's it guys that's your update for luna classic for the day if you like this type of content, you want me to keep doing it this way, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified, and leave a comment down below letting me know that you're part of the Lunk Army. And uh, this is not financial advice. I'm always right.